You are the operations manager for an airline and you are considering a higher fare level for passengers in aisle seats. How many randomly selected air passengers must you survey? So in this question, we're looking for the sample size, which is lowercase n. Assume you want to be 99% confident, so 99%. Then it says that the sample percentage is within 5.5 percentage points. That's just a confusing or tricky way to give us what's called the margin of error. So it says percentage points, so we have to turn it into a decimal. It's pretty sneaky. So this is the, it's called the margin of error. And what this is, is this is half of the width. Okay, so whenever you are given the margin of error, just always, 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 just multiply it by two to get your width. Because that's really what you need, right? So the margin of error is half the width. So you multiply it by two to get the width. I'm gonna put it in the calculator. So it's two times 0 0.055. There it is, 0.11. So what is the question really asking? It says, how many people do you need to survey, right, in order to construct a confidence interval that is this wide with this level, right? So again, how many people must be surveyed in order to construct a 99% confidence interval with this width? And if you look here, you see the n equals, that's also a pretty good giveaway. Assume that nothing is known about the percentage of passengers. That means we're going to leave the what's called target proportion alone in this problem. In part B, it's probably going to give us a number that will become the target proportion. Let's go ahead and do it. So question help, stack crunch, and detach this. All right, so we go to stat, proportion stats one sample, and we're given the width, and we're looking for the sample size, so width sample size. Then you enter the level, the level in this case was 99. We leave the target proportion alone, it's what we expect. Um, we, know, we know no information, so we expect nothing, right? It tells us, assume that nothing is known about the percentage of passengers who prefer aisle seats. Like if it told us 80% prefer aisle seats, then we would change it to 0 0.80, but nothing is known. The width is 0.11. Compute, so 549. So the answer to the first part is 549. So let's try it. 549. Check answer. Assume that a prior survey suggests that about 32% of air passengers prefer an aisle seat. Ah, so now we have some information. Now we know that there is a 0.32 probability that someone will prefer an aisle seat. So we have to go back in here, change this to 0.32, change the target proportion, but notice the width change. So we have to reset the width. Okay, so you click compute. There it is, 478. So 478 is the answer to the second part. So it changed, it, it reduced the sample size slightly, right? So again, in the first part, you don't know anything about the percentage of passengers who prefer aisle seats. So you assume there is a 50-50 chance that they prefer an aisle seat. So you leave the target proportion at 0.5. In part B, we know it's 32%, so we change it. Let's try it, make sure our answer is okay. It's probably a follow-up question. Let's see. Oh, nope, that's it. So I hope that made sense.